people who perform live presentation in presenter view may need more than one monitor so that they can let the presenter's notes or trainer's notes be seen only on the presenter's monitor. You can then record your live presentation and this is the common method of using presenter view of PowerPoint program. I was asked several times if they could create a video in the presenter view without live presentation so that they could use it for online presentation or video presentation at any time and anywhere they want. I made this video especially for these people so that they can create a video in the presenter view only with the one PC monitor. The first step is to prepare your documents. The presenter view is used when the presenter wants to see or read the notes prepared in advance during the presentation. The notes can be prepared and entered in the trainer's notes space at the bottom of each slide screen. If you do not see this space, move your mouse down below the slide screen until you see the kind of expansion arrow. You can adjust the size of this space by moving this arrow up and down. The next step is to prepare the slideshow. Whether you perform live presentation or create your video presentation, make sure to mark Use Presenter View at the end of Slideshow menu. If your presentation contains animation, you may also want to decide if you are going to use timings or manually click your mouse to start the animation. Now you can start your slideshow or recording from the beginning or from certain slide that is currently open. Once you choose and click where to start icon, the screen turns to the slideshow mode. On the bottom left corner of the screen, you will find Slide Control Tools. Select and click the Setting tool that is marked as three dots. These tools may not be clearly visible, but it will not be a problem to find them. From the setting tool menu, select Show Presenter View. Then the screen will turn to Presenter View mode. And you can see the current slide on your left and small window showing the next, side, next slide on your right. And right below, You will see the notes assigned to the current slide. These two small windows can help you to make your presentation easy and smooth. The first five steps are what you need to do for live presentation. From the sixth step, you need to do some work to prepare recording your video. On the presenter view mode, there are also some tools including setting tool marked as three dots. Click this tool, then select screen, then click show taskbar. Once the taskbar shows on the bottom of the screen,
select PowerPoint icon. This will let you open the PowerPoint program. You can open the existing PowerPoint file that is already open and add a blank slide or page, but I will open a fresh new file with a blank page here. From the Insert menu, click Screen Recording icon at the right end. Then, on the Presenter View screen, you will see the Recording Toolbox. Select the, click the Select Area tool at the center and drag your mouse to select the area of recording. Usually, the entire rectangular screen on the left. This recording area is marked with a red dashed line. Then, click the record button from the recording toolbox to start recording. There will be 3 second timer running before the recording automatically starts. One thing you need to remember is that the recording toolbox will disappear once recording is started. This will make it hard to stop or end recording. To do this, while pressing Windows logo key and shift key simultaneously, enter Q key. Q key, Q here means quit or end. Another method of to end the recording is to move your mouse all the way to the top of the screen border. This will let you be able to see the recording toolbox again. From the toolbox, click stop button, the second tool, to end the recording. Once the recording is done, recorded screen will show on the PowerPoint slide. If the size of the screen is too small, use the size adjustment points to enlarge it. Usually to the full size unless you want it different. And you can also click the play button at the bottom of the recorded screen to play your video. You can edit tri or trim your video if necessary. When your review and correction is done, click the file menu and choose save as option to save your video. Once destination folder is selected and the file name is entered, Make sure to save it in the MP4 file type from the file type drop down menu. This is very important, otherwise, it may be saved as PowerPoint file type. Before you convert it to MP4 file, the file still remains as a PowerPoint file. Other method of saving the file as video is to choose export from the file menu. Choose create a video from several options of exporting your file. Then click create video icon to start converting or exporting. You can adjust the quality of your video, but I recommend you to stay with the default setting as it is said as 1920 by 1080 full HD quality. The quality setting may be different depending on the PowerPoint version and this setting is with the 2016 version.
while your PC is saving or is ex exporting your PowerPoint file to a video file, do not close the PowerPoint file. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the bar showing the progress. Once saving is done, this bar will disappear. And now you can close the file. Your video will be available to be used at any time in the folder you selected. You can directly upload it to your YouTube or share your video with other people.